In the Gazelle School of Business webinar, we taught you how to build a really powerful and simple one-page website for your business to use. In this tutorial, we're going to show you the technical steps we took to build this website using Squarespace, and it's really easy to do. So let's get started. Now, if you're new to Squarespace, when you first log in, it will be empty. Uh, here is the website that we built. You're going to want to come up to this button up here to create a new site. So we'll click create a site. Now, the benefit to Squarespace is they have a ton of really awesome templates you can use that are already mobile optimized, meaning when you build this website, it will mobile optimize it for the small screens and the large screens all at one time. The downside is there's a ton of options for you to pick from. So, you know, you can't go wrong with most of their templates. The one thing we would recommend is lighter and brighter. You don't want to end up with a really dark and drab theme. Uh, so we're going to start with this one just right up at the top. This is what we used. And again, you can't go wrong. Um, and you're, there's so much customization you can do, you're going to be just fine. Uh, now, it's going to take a few seconds to load. Uh, you can go through this nice little tutorial that shows you how to use Squarespace. We're going to skip it because we're going to show you some shortcuts to get this website spun up faster. And also over here, they have a nice little assistant that you can use. And we're going to close that out. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're going to click on Pages right here. And we're just going to jump straight into this template. Now, a couple of things you will notice. Uh, right here on the left, you have About in the navigation. You also have News and Read Me. The top level folders that you have here correlate with your menu over here on the right. And then down below that are all of your hidden pages or pages that are not linked uh, to the menu. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is we're just going to recommend that you just start deleting these pages. And we're going to delete everything except this home page. Uh, now, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to build that one page website. And the second tutorial, we're actually going to show you how to build out all of these menus. But for right now, we're just going to take the menus out of there. And sure enough, there you go. All right, the menus are now gone. Um, and we are left with just a one page home page website. Uh, now, over here on the right is where you're going to do a lot of the work with editing the site. And right up here at the top is a nice little edit button. And when you click that, it's going to load in the site in a view where you're able to actually edit all of the text and images. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to start up here in the header. Uh, so hover over the header, and it's going to pull this in over here. Uh, we're going to start by going to Site Title and Logo. And so in our title, we can type in uh, Demo Piano Service. So just type in the name of your business. Now you'll notice that it comes in over here as the name. If you add a logo, it will actually replace the name with the logo, except when uh, the logo has a hard time rendering on a screen, it will default to your business name. Now, if you have a logo with your business name, it's going to be good to use it. Uh, otherwise, you'll want to use just an icon. Uh, and you should typically have both an icon available and a uh, logo with your business name in it. Uh, that's generally good practice. So uh, go ahead and just grab one of your logos. And we're going to go ahead and load this in there. And you'll see over here that it now converts and just to the logo. Okay. Uh, something that we found helpful is you can actually adjust the size of your logo right here. So if you want to get the logo bigger or smaller, go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, so now you've got your logo up there. Uh, we're going to come down here to the elements. And the elements in Squarespace control different aspects of this whole area. Uh, in this case, we're in the header. And so the element is going to control this button over here. Uh, so go to the element, and you'll see that the button is actually an option. You can toggle it on and off. Right now, it's titled Take Action, and we're going to change this to just Book Now. And the URL for this is going to be your Gazelle self-scheduling URL. 
Uh, and you just want to keep in mind that this is a one page website to get you off the ground quickly. All of the services you offer, the prices and things like that uh, are going to be handled when the client's self-scheduling their appointment. Uh, so go ahead and type in your Gazelle or copy and paste in your Gazelle self-scheduling URL right here. Okay, uh, great. So we got the header done. Let's actually scroll all the way down and we're going to take care of the footer now. Now, again, because you are building a one page website, uh, you don't have a contact us page. Your contact us page is your footer. So make sure you put your address, your phone number, and your email address down here in the footer. And you'll also notice that this little made with Squarespace thing is put in there and you can delete it. Uh, this is now your website. Congratulations. Uh, so, all right, uh, we're going to go ahead and save this. And now we have our header and our footer done. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to swap out some of the images. And also, you will notice that I'm going to pivot over to the demo site that we built. Uh, you'll notice that we had the logo centered and the menu icon centered in the screen. I'm going to show you how to do that quick. Uh, so we're going to go back to the Squarespace size, site that we're editing. We're going to hit edit and we're going to go up into the header. And so under your header layout right here, uh, you have a lot of different options. And down at the bottom, you'll notice there's an option for the logo and the centered menu and the button on the right. Right. So that's what we're going to select. Now, because we took away all the menu pages, no menu pages are being displayed just yet. Um, that will come in the second tutorial we're going to do where we show you how to build out those menu pages. Okay, great. Uh, now, we're going to build this site from top to bottom. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pivot back over to the site that we built, and I am just going to copy our little one-liner telling them what our business is all about, right? And this is where it's so important. This doesn't need to be the name of your business. It doesn't need to be your services. It doesn't need to be any of that. It just needs to tell them exactly what the client needs to know. We service pianos in this area. Again, this website is designed to get you about six to 12 months of runway for you to build your business. And you're gonna add to it later, uh, but this is a site you're just gonna build in a day. Uh, so we're just going to copy and paste in uh, all of the text. And now this little button here, I'm going to go ahead and change this. And I'm going to change it to book now. One of the great things about this setup, uh, again, don't forget to tag the URL here. Every time you change a button, uh, you need to add in the Gazelle self-scheduling URL if you want that book now button to kick over to your Gazelle self-scheduling page. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Uh, one of the great things about this is all of your call to actions are going to say book now. And it um, looks like up here in this header, I forgot to hit save when I edited the button. So we're going to come back here, go to elements, take action. All right. And doo -doo -doo. there you go. Okay. Let's come down. All right, there we go. So all of your action buttons are going to say the exact same thing. This is a one page website with a one call to action. Book now, book now, book now, book now. If they want to call you or they want to get a hold of you, that information is down in the footer. And if you don't have a menu, most people go to the footer to find all of that info. Okay. So we're going to move up before we move on. Let's actually talk about the image, right? Because we're not a land conservatory. We are a piano service business. So to come to this element with the image, you're going to hit the edit button and go over here to the background and you'll see that here's our image. Uh, we're going to delete this image. And as soon as you delete it, you will notice that you have an option to search images and an option to upload images. We're going to show you how to do both. First, we're going to search images. Now, Squarespace has a lot of free images that are decent quality for you to use. And because this is a stopgap temporary website for you for 6 to 12 months, uh, just use as many of them as you can get away with. 
uh, for now. So we're going to scroll down. I, most of these images I found just searching grand piano, uh, that term. So here's that image I found. We can select it. We can add it to the site. And now the image is going to appear as soon as it renders. Um, I just need to give it a second because if I click out of this box, it will not update the image. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, there we go. So there's our image. This website is starting to come together now. Uh, so we have our book now buttons. We have our company logo. We have our intros. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to state our philosophical problem. Right, this is a story brand concept. Now below all this extra text, just delete it. Uh, you don't need more words on your website. You need fewer words. And if you come to the philosophical problem on the demo site that we did, it was just this. You shouldn't have to be a concert pianist to enjoy your piano. So I'm actually just going to go copy and paste this in. And we're going to go ahead and have that. Right. Uh, when you're building this site, fewer words are key. Uh, so don't feel pressure if Squarespace is offering an element that has a lot of added text. Uh, you can usually delete the extra text you don't need. All right, so we're going to scroll down now. And we have an image here, uh, an element with an image, a button, and some text. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this text. And this was our step one uh, text. Uh, and then we had a little bit of uh, explanation on the site that we built. I'm going to pivot back over to that site just to show you, right? So we had the image and then we had our step one, choose your service and the book now button and a little explanation. So now I'm going to pivot back to Squarespace and here's our step one. You can edit all of this and now our image and our button will come up here and hit edit. And here's our image, same thing. We're going to delete it. Now, if you have some images of either you working uh, or, you know, let's see here. Let me go through and just find one of those images that we used. Let's see here. Where did it go? Was it at the top? There we go. Um, all right. So if you have your own images and your own artwork, uh, you can just easily upload it right here. Um, and so, you know, get a friend to grab a high resolution uh, smartphone and camera and just start snapping some pictures of you working. Uh, and you can use those here as well. Uh, so great. We have our image. And now we're going to go over here to design. And we're going to scroll down. The image link is a button. And it's called learn more. So we're going to change that to book now. And there you go. And now your click through URL is your gazelle self scheduling URL. Remember to change that out as well and just copy and paste that in. Again, every time you have a button, uh, you need to link that specific button. There's not a global way to do this. Um, so, all right. Uh, and this is again where it's really nice to have the same button, same text, same link throughout the page. So, okay, step two uh, is right here. And you'll see I'm actually reusing some of the elements that they provided in this template. Uh, you can add all that here. We have our button and our image. So go ahead and go here. Now I'm not going to change an image every single time for this tutorial. So I'll let you do that. Uh, but I am going to come in here and one last time remind you to change the button to book now uh, and then type in or paste in your gazelle scheduling URL. All right. There we go. Now, you will notice the, we're out of provided templates and elements for this uh, particular Squarespace template. So I'm just going to delete this subscribe feature down at the bottom. Uh, we're not going to use it. And now you'll see this little plus icon where I can add a new element. And we're going to scroll down. And I wanted a step three. And so now. I have a picture and I don't have the right fonts and headings, but I can go ahead and just write step three um, here. And uh, if I can, 
there we go. Uh, I'm gonna highlight it and then I'm just gonna change this up to heading two. Uh, and then down here, I'm gonna change this down to paragraph one, right? And so this is starting to look a lot more like, actually I think I used, uh, let's see here what this, this was heading three and this was paragraph two. So you do wanna keep that consistent. So let's go ahead and change this heading three and this was paragraph two. So it was all just a little bit smaller. There you go. Um, all right, so now that's consistent. You can change the image and remember to change the button and link it. Okay, great. So the next thing that we did, I'm gonna move over to the website that we built and scroll down. There's our step one, our step two, step three. The next thing in the story brand process is to tell them the risk that they are going to face. Um, if they choose not to buy your service. And this piece of the sales process is just absolutely critical to get right, but more, more critical to actually have present. And it doesn't need to be this big overblown risk. Uh, so if you come here, we're gonna add in this right here uh, is an image with some overlay text and a button. And we're gonna add that element. And here we're gonna add the risk, right? And then we're going to delete all of this text here because we don't need it. And we're gonna change our button to be book now. And our risk in this case was don't go through life thinking you can't play well. The implication here uh, for the consumer when they're reading this is hire me to work on your piano, right? You don't have to go through life thinking you can't play well, hire me to work on your piano. Um, but that is implied, right? That is the action they need to take when they book now. And that's why they're going to want to book now. So, all right, so we have our risk. And the next thing in the story brand process is to tell them what success looks like. You, you told them what failure looks like and what the risk is. Now let's tell them what success looks like. So we're gonna add a new element and here, uh, I ended up going with this element here and you, you can use any element that you think looks good. Just keep it simple. And if you find yourself uh, spending too much time on it, uh, just pick something and run with it. Uh, so right here, what we did is we combined the success. Really, we just told them like, hey, success looks like discovering music that enhances your life. And then our transformation when it comes to the story brand process was right here, right? This is how you can tr easily transform from somebody who doesn't know how to play the piano to somebody who does know how to play the piano. And this reality is going to transform your life, right? And so we combined all of that in one Squarespace element. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so when you come over to Squarespace, Right, this is the success. And this right here is the transformation. Right, and so that's what we ended up doing. Uh, so our success, we're just gonna paste that in there. And then here, our transformation. And there you go. Uh, we don't need to use a lot of words. And again, we had the image and the button. And so you just want to remember to change that to book now and your URL. Okay, if we go back to our website that we built, the demo site, if you scroll down, there's one more element that we did. And this is the five star reviews. If you don't have reviews, you've probably already done enough work for some good people who are really nice, who will give you a review. Just go get a few. Uh, you could have one, you could have two, you could have three, you could have four. You don't really need more than five on your website. And so we're gonna show you the element that we used in Squarespace to build this. Um, and again, also consider uh, going and either paying a professional photographer to take some pictures of you in your work attire uh, against a light wall or something like that. Um, to get some good images of you looking directly into the camera and smiling, right? Because that makes it feel like you're connecting with them on their web on your website. Um, so coming over to Squarespace at the very bottom here, we're going to add a new element, 
and this particular element was a list and this is what I used. Now it looks a little bit different so I'm going to show you how I tricked Squarespace into doing what I want. Right, because if you look up here, uh, we've got this like big full bleed picture and then white space. And if you come up here, our steps were white space. And then we had this big full bleed picture. And so I was just transitioning from dark to light to dark to light. Only here I went from light to light and all this just gets washed out. So I wanted to actually put an image in the background. And you can do that on all of your elements. Uh, so I'm going to upload an image here. And we're going to do this guy. And again, make this a picture of you. Now, the one thing you want to do is let this thing run. <laughs> so many times I go to upload a picture and I click out of this and it doesn't actually upload the picture. So just be patient and it's going to go through its thing and render the picture. Um, but yeah, make, you know, get a good picture of you up there. And all right, all of a sudden you will notice a couple of things. Number one, ah, we don't really want pictures on top of pictures. So I'm just going to go delete these and delete that, right? Okay. And so now we are down to just the five star reviews. And here you can put in the client name, right? So I just, you know, Sally K and Bill G and Steve F, right? Uh, whatever your client's names are. And you can edit the text with the actual review down there. But one of the things I didn't like was the black text against this image didn't really work that well. So I'm going to come here to edit it. And this is where I come to colors. So if your background image isn't uh, the right shade and your text is getting washed out, right? You can come to colors and instead of a white background with black text, you can change to a white text there. And that actually works a little bit better with the exception that now some of my white text is getting lost in the blue shirt. And so one of the things you can do here is come to the image and come down to this image editor I wanted to show you. And in the image editor, you can just do some little real elementary tricks like drag the brightness so it's a darker image and up the contrast. And I'm sure there's, well, that looks really bad. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like this just to show you the extremes. Um, but if you really wanted to now again, let this thing render. But if you really wanted to cause some white text to pop, you can adjust the contrast and the darkness. And that looks really, really bad because I put it at the extremes. But I think you get the idea. Um, or you can go and you can change it back to a black text. But sometimes you really just have to pick the lesser of two evils uh, because no image is perfectly dark or perfectly light. It's always something's getting lost somewhere. So you just want to make sure you use a framework where you pass that through and just say, okay, well, what's the best way to handle this? Do I change the text or do I change the image? Uh, Squarespace just makes it really easy to do either one. Um, and that's why we like it. Uh, okay, so now we have our, our last button. So I'll go ahead and just do this one last time. Uh, we're going to book now. And again, put your URL for your Gazelle self-scheduling page here. Okay. Well, there is our one page website and it is uh, going to be a powerful website for you to use. Uh, it uses a story brand process. This is a proven process that works. And if you have any questions about, you know, just as you're putting this together, how to keep it simple, how to do it quickly. Obviously, we're not experts in Squarespace. We just like this product because it is really easy to use. And there's other products out there you can use. Uh, and Squarespace has a ton of tutorials for you to easily learn how to use their product. Uh, but if you need any help on just the business application front, or you, you just want to run some things, buy somebody, uh, you know, we can, we're happy to help you in any way we can. So reach out to the team at Gazelle, support at gazelleapp.io.